Well, it caused havoc all across the state of Texas. A rare and brutal winter storm last month, knocking out power, then access to clean water. It disrupted life for millions of Texans. But for one family in Texas, it led to a miracle. It is a story you'll see only on News Nation. A baby girl came into the world three and a half months early. Her mom then gave birth in the back seat of their SUV during the storm. Unreal, right? In their first TV interview, News Nation's Felicia Bolton sat down with the parents about how they managed to give life under those daunting circumstances. She might be hard to see, but this tiny little girl is leaving a big impact on doctors and parents alike. This is the first time Helen Woldemichael is holding her daughter, Amari, since giving birth. At 25 weeks gestation, she came into the world during Texas winter storm Uri. Helen says she thought her contractions that day were just false labor, known as Braxton Hicks. They were starting to get stronger, but, um, you know, I didn't think it was a real deal. Um, I didn't think they were actually labor contractions. But as her contractions became more intense, she and her husband, Abby, decided to head to the hospital as snow continued to fall outside. The roads were slippery. Uh, the snow actually turned into ice. Um, the majority of the places are just a black ice. Uh, so it was a pretty bad, bad condition. The pain grew so bad they pulled over and called 911, but no answer. So they continue to drive. Then near Highway 75 in Lover's Lane in Dallas, Texas, at 8 p.m., Amari arrived. It just happened. I mean, I just, I just screamed at one point, and she pushed, and then it came out. She came out. It was really, like I said, you know, she's so little. She's less than two pounds. So. I didn't have to push for minutes and hours as I did with the previous two. Helen says she was in shock and her husband coached her through what to do. I remember him telling me actually, okay, pick her up because she had fallen to the, to the ground of the car, to the floor of the car. And so he's like, okay, you know, trying to cover me, like pick her up, um, hold her in your hand. The pair called 911 and the operator helped them ensure Amari stayed warm during the below zero temperature outside. So the 911 dispatcher told us, you know, put her skin to skin on you, um, keep her warm. So he turned on the heater as much as he could and um, we just kept going. Finally, they reached Baylor University Medical Center. The hospital is designated with a level four neonatal intensive care unit by the state, one of the highest medical distinguishments. Helen says more than 30 staff were waiting to greet them. Dr. Vijay Nama is the director of the NICU team. But to be born, um, you know, in a car when it's freezing outside and no help, um, you know, these babies often get really cold, they get sick, they have breathing problems. Um, so it's pretty, it's, it's amazing that, you know, a baby who had no medical care at birth um, is doing so well. So that is very unusual. Now Amari is two weeks old and weighs slightly more than two pounds. Not only did she survive, Dr. Nama says she is thriving. The first milestone which we, you know, all look forward to is when a baby is breathing, you know, by, by himself or herself. Um, and so Amari, you know, right from the get-go, since she was born, she's actually been breathing pretty good. When it came to giving her a name, her father knew one thing for sure. Her life is nothing short of a miracle. She is a miracle. She is, you know, a miracle from God in Hebrew. Um, Amari means uh, God's miracle. So that's that's what that's how we meant her. Amari, the miracle child, is beating the odds one day at a time. Felicia Bolton, News Nation, Dallas, Texas. Oh, unreal. And you're a mama so too. So scary. Can you imagine? I know. And you know, they say keep the blankets and all the things in the car right. that you might need if, for something like that. That's the time you really need it. <laughs> right, no kidding. In the middle of that storm, we know how horrific that storm was for millions of Texans. And but wow, yeah, so miracle is, uh, not, I think, and, the right word for that and story. And she will have quite the story to tell. Yes. When she grows up, her parents will have to share that, that day with her, <laughs> yeah, her what? birthday.